Hey bro chicas, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I have another Dollar Tree haul for you guys. It's also a pretty big Dollar Tree haul again. They have been having such good stuff over at the Dollar Tree you guys. So this past weekend I was actually in Pennsylvania visiting some family members and I saw this huge Dollar Tree. You might have seen my YouTube short. I put the address of it in that video if you want to go check it out if you are in pennsylvania around that area if you're gonna go visit uh definitely check that dollar tree out they had so much good stuff you guys we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into the hall it's a big one buckle up get a snack get a drink because we're gonna be here for a little while so the first thing i want to show you to start off this whole haul is this little lip balm this tinted rose oil lip balm by be pure go from clear to your unique lip color you guys this has been trending on tiktok i have seen it everywhere on tiktok and i actually found it this dollar tree was amazing because the things that i haven't been able to find at my local dollar tree i found there i was so excited you guys here are the different color possibilities. So basically this is a pH adapting lip balm. It changes with each individual, creating a custom tint, uniquely scented and infused with hydrating rose oil to keep your lips nourished. So not only is this a viral TikTok Dollar Tree find, I am obsessed with rose oil. I'm I, not even just rose oil, I'm just obsessed with roses. Um, you guys will know that if you've been on my channel, if you haven't, Hi, my name is Chris. I always forget to introduce myself, but my channel name is Chris King. Hi, my name is Chris. I do a lot of shopping, a lot of hauls, and if you're interested in that type of stuff, go ahead and subscribe before you leave this video today. So I have nothing on my lips because I really want to try this out for you guys. First of all, packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a pinky rose gold. Looks metal, but I, I think it's plastic. Um, but there it is. It's like a clearish, whitish uh, lip balm. Smells like roses. And my lips are so dry, you guys. Look at how dry. I really need some lip balm. It says it's nourishing. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, wow. So the more that I put it on, yes, it does smell like a hint of rose oil, but it also kind of smells like chemicals. It is from Dollar Tree, so to be expected, but here's what it looks like. So it almost has like a pink little hue after you've swiped it, because I did do a couple swipes. Some people say to just do one swipe, but like I really needed some lip balm because my lips are so dry. Um, and that's what it looks like, folks. Okay, also I wanna apologize for the lighting. I feel like the lighting is looking really strange. Um, it's kind of like gray and dark outside and I have this light, this light, and this light. So I just wanted it to be bright enough, bright enough in here, but I also feel like it's giving a little bit of like too much like fluorescent -y vibes. Um, so I apologize for the lighting. It is not my favorite today, um, but I found some more lipsticks, you guys. I can't help it like getting these brand name lipsticks for $1.25, like it's just such a good deal. So all of these are Maybelline lipsticks. And of course I'm going to pull them out, tell you the shade names, and we're gonna do a little swatch test on the hand. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna show you, this is called Plaza Pink. And so the only way you get to kind of gauge what color it's gonna be is by looking at the bottom of the packaging. And that's like the little color swatch. So judging by that, I was like, maybe I might like it. Seems like a darker mauve color. And it doesn't say that this is a matte lipstick, which I, I kind of hope it's not. It just says it's the color sensational line. So it's kind of nice to not have something that's just matte because they do have a lot of matte lipsticks at Dollar Tree right now, brand name. But it's like, I don't really, I'm not really down with the matte trend um, as of late, but oh, I'm opening this guy up right now. And I just want to be completely transparent with you guys. Do you see that? By the way, I have paint on my hand because I am in the middle of like doing some home renovations so that's why that's there but look at this not gonna lie that's a little creepy but we're mm, I don't know maybe it's just the shipping I don't know maybe it's expired 
I don't really know. Not really sure, but I'm going to show you the color anyways. This is the color. Um, This is, yeah, definitely just like a regular uh, lipstick, kind of like satiny. Definitely not matte. This next one is called White Gold Metallic 950. This is the packaging. Well, that's a pretty one. Let me give you a little close-up of that. So this one actually looks promising nothing looks wrong with this guy right here i'm not really seeing all of that stuff that we saw on the one before so that's a good sign and this is just a shimmery type of you see how it glistens in the light so that might be kind of cute um with a clear lip gloss on top in the summertime or on top of a darker lipstick like in the middle in the center and the last maybelline lipstick that i picked up this trip was the shade copper spark metallic so another metallic one same type of packaging not gonna be a matte and oh we've got the same thing happening again you guys let me know what that means when the lipstick is doing that like on one hand i don't really care because like that's why they were at the dollar tree probably is because it was you know uh defective oh that's a wow wow that is a copper color that is copper. Now, I don't think this is going to go with my skin tone personally. I don't think that's going to work out great for me, but that could be kind of cool as an eyeshadow. I don't know if you can use lipstick as an eyeshadow, but that looks like it would be a cool eyeshadow. Next couple of things I got from the makeup section is some more of these LA Colors lip oils. I'm obsessed with these. I've been using them for years. And if you are lucky enough to find the watermelon, if you like the watermelon scent, girl grab everyone you see because it is so hard to come by the watermelon scent and that is my favorite one it smells like the jolly rancher watermelon flavor um but i did find the strawberry and the mint they also have a grape i've never tried the grape but i'm not really like a grape scented type of gal so i do get the strawberry when they don't have watermelon available and i've never tried the mint but i did want to go ahead and try the mint you guys these lip oils are freaking amazing if you want your lips to look juicy and full these are it not to mention they are super uh, moisturizing next thing I got from that same section is actually for your nails and I saw this and I thought it was really really cute never seen this before at Dollar Tree I'm pretty sure it's a newish product but it's lavender cuticle oil in a pen form by the brand be pure it helps strengthen and maintain healthy nails and cuticles so a lot of times my cuticles get dry. My skin gets dry from working at Starbucks because we are always having our hands in this like sanitizer liquid, which has like minimal amounts of like bleach, I believe. It just dries out your skin so badly. Here's what the little pen looks like. It's really, really cute. And I thought this would be nice to have like as a to-go type of thing, you know? Like, do you pump this or do you twist it? I think you, yeah, you twist it. Remember those lip glosses back in the day? I used to have those where you would click, 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 and it would take forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Here it comes. Okay, so, and it's a little brush tip, and you just paint that right on your cuticles. And I like that because it's nice and convenient and on the go. I do have cuticle oil from the Dollar Tree that I keep here, obviously, in my bathroom, but this is nice, like, on the go. Oh, she's shiny. That's the before. Wait, sorry. <laughs> Let me put this down. This is the beforehand and this is the after. Again, don't mind my paint splatter. Oh, y'all, look at what I found in the like skincare section. I don't know if this is a Dollar Tree brand. It kind of looks like their packaging, but it says distributed by Philo America. Is this a Dollar Tree brand? Let me know you guys. But this is called, uh, this is by Dreamology. And these are the wax strips for bikini and body. And they had a cocoa butter scent and they also had a lavender scent. I love me some lavender. So this is hair removal strips. They're great for touch up and travel. Hair grows back finer and softer. Quick, easy, and effective. You get four strips and two wipes. And they're seven inches by three and a half inches. I just thought this was amazing to see at Dollar Tree. I have never seen something like this at Dollar Tree. That's why I was like, is this their brand? Is this like one of the many Dollar Tree brands? I'm not sure. That's a big strip, you guys. 
I will definitely try these out for you guys. I'm not going to try them out right now, but I will definitely let you guys know how it goes. Um, all of the strips are in here. And then also in the box, you get these after depilation wipes, smooth touch, moisturizes and smooths, helps remove racks wax residue so that's kind of cool i also found this dry brush and this is by uh spa april bath and shower so in the bath section i always see the facial brushes by this brand but i have never seen a dry brush the dry brush is for your skin it helps exfoliate um skin and boost circulation on face and body so i know it is really small but it is only a dollar 25 and i have seen on social media that people do dry brushing on their legs to help with circulation which also helps with cellulite so dry brushing is really good for your body and it's supposed to prevent and like help cellulite go away and i was like you know for a dollar 25 i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try it's gonna obviously take some time to see results but i know that these can get a little more expensive so i would i was like i'm gonna try the dollar one out first and if i really like it then i can get one of those bigger paddle brushes that fit your whole hand now you remember when i found this amy um toner i found a toner in the last dollar tree haul um just a few days ago i uploaded that one i really like the toner and it was rated really well on the yuka app i love it i can tell that my like my skin has been looking brighter and healthier and younger so i've been using that a lot and i really like it and when i went to this new dollar tree they had some more amy brand stuff and i was excited to try it I will say that I checked this on the Yuka app and it did not have that good of a rating as the other one did, which I find surprising because it says it's 97% natural on this one and 95% natural on this one. I want to say maybe it got like a 40 to 50% review instead of like the 90 to 100 that the other product by Amy was, but I wanted to give it a shot anyway. So this first one I saw was the soft and smooth exfoliating polish with almond milk, safflower, buffs away dead skin cells, softens and smooths, dermatologist approved, formulated for dr uh, normal to dry skin, including sensitive skin. I do have sensitive skin. And so that's why I was like, oh, let's just give it a try. It is dermatologist approved. It says cruelty free vegan. It is free from sulfates, parabens, colorants, mineral oils, and silicones. It clearly states all of the ingredients on the back for you. If you want to pause, you can read it, but it explains what the ingredients are. So I was like, I don't know, like, why is this that bad? I'm going to go ahead and try it. Um, I actually don't have a face wash exfoliator, so I figured I would pick it up. This one is a glow and bright illuminating face mist. I love me a face mist. I actually have a rose uh face mist right now that i just i use it every single day this one is with rose water and hibiscus it brightens and hydrates instant dewy complexion dermatologist approved formulated for dull lackluster skin including sensitive skin and again with all you know no sulfates parabens whatever i'm not going to read all of that again but again clearly states the ingredients there and then explains what they are so you can understand so I will go ahead and spray this one just to see for right now. Let's see, gotta get it started. It smells really good. It actually smells really similar to the rose spray that I'm using right now. I did not get this at Dollar Tree. I got this at Walmart, but this is the Her by the Heritage Store and it's rose water and glycerin. And this actually smells very similar to this and it actually feels very similar. So I don't know why it would not be rated good because honestly, it feels amazing. Okay, y'all, let's change it up from the beauty and let's get into some home and organization stuff. It's one of my favorite things to find at Dollar Tree. It is so affordable and they have really good stuff to organize your house. And I feel like buying certain things to organize, like to help you organize your house, like motivates you to organize your house and helps you keep it clean. So I am a big advocate for getting organizational supplies from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love it. And I saw somebody on YouTube haul these, a few people actually, and I had to get my hands on it. I was so glad to see that this store had them in stock. And this is by Closet Essentials. It is a four grip 
rotating hook and you get two for $1.25. So I'm gonna put one of these down and I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. Here's what it looks like. I actually saw it in a gray color as well. If you like gray instead of white, I went ahead and just went with the white. It's clean, it's plain, matches everything, but it does rotate. This is amazing. You just hang this on your, you know, closet rod and you can do so much with this, you guys. I already have tons of ideas. If you want me to list them off, I will. Okay, if you're not interested, just fast forward a few seconds. You can put baseball caps on this, which is what I'm planning to do. My husband has so many baseball caps and they just get left like everywhere on the counter, on the couch, on the ottoman, on the side table, on the dining table. And I'm so sick of seeing his hats everywhere. So this is a really good idea for baseball hats. You can hook your jeans to this. Just take your jeans by the belt loop and, hook, you know, hook it right on there and you can put your jeans on this. You can hang your crossbody purses from this. Have you ever been like, where am I gonna put these crossbody purses? I have so many of them. You can put them right here and you can take up just the amount of one hanger in your closet. I love this so much. I have so many more ideas. Like there's just so many things that you could do with this. You could put belts on this. You could put scarves on this. You could put tank tops on this. And better yet, which I'm actually gonna use one of these for myself, you can put your bras on this, okay? I have trouble keeping my bras in my underwear closet. I have like this mini little closet that's like underwear, socks, uh, bras, and sleepwear. And I don't know, they end up just everywhere. Like I know my bras are supposed to go in there and I just I end up just hanging them off a doorknob or something like that. So I've realized to myself, don't work against the grain. If I just wanna throw them on a hanger, then that's what I should do. Put this on your closet rod or, or somewhere in your room and literally just hook the bra right, just the bra strap right there and hang it from that so there's just so much you can do with these things and they look really clean really nice and the fact that you get two for $1.25 is amazing I also picked up some stuff from the kitchen um, I have to get rid of some kitchen towels that are just so dingy and stained and so I figured I would pick up some to go with my like new decor that we are doing in the house if you don't know if you haven't seen my last Dollar Tree video I explained that I'm kind of renovating my kitchen and my bathroom that's right off the kitchen there so we painted it um like a light blue color and we're kind of going for like a coastal farmhousey modern -y type of vibe um seems weird but it is a thing look it up uh, so to accent the very light blue that we have i think that like a dark like navy blue could be really really cute to add just tiny little accents around the home not on the furniture or the walls or anything like that but just kind of like little pieces i just think it makes the light blue pop so i went ahead and picked these up and it does say on here heavier weight so these are nicer than the normal um little like microfibery kitchen towels that they always have i usually never use them because i feel like they don't dry anything you know but if i don't know we'll check we'll check these out and see if they feel like they actually absorb water i'll definitely let you guys know in another video but they look really nice uh nice little kitchen towels and i just got two of those if we don't use them for actually drying stuff like if they don't work that well these will be decorations hanging off my oven um, when I went there, they had the whole navy blue collection. So I just ended up getting almost everything that was navy blue because I actually was looking for the navy blue stuff in my local store and they didn't have anything except for the kitchen towels and it was not the heavy duty kitchen towels. So I'm really glad I got the heavy duty ones. I ended up picking up this dish drying mat, which I do have a two compartment sink and it's a pretty big sink. And on one side, we always put the stuff that we wash by hand so it can dry. But sometimes there's not enough room depending on what kind of dishes we used and how much we've done. So I wanted to pick one of these up that matched everything to dry the dishes off. And of course I had to go and get some more mitts um, and more pot holders. The, I love getting the potholders from here because they're cheap, but on the other hand, I'm like, would I be better off spending more money and not having to replace them super often? Because I do replace these very often. Sometimes they melt, like there's been times where we've like accidentally burned them in the oven, you know what I mean? Like they are not the greatest quality. They don't last that long, but the problem with me is... I, it's hard for me to keep kitchen stuff like this nice and unstained. They always end up getting stained or burned. So I guess I might as well spend $1.25 and like, you know, get a new one every few months or so than burn like an expensive one. Um, and that's just my logic because I just don't take care of these kinds of things very well. So I got the oven mitt and then I got the pot holders. Also, I ended up getting this hamburger patty press and I've seen this for many years and I've never picked it up because I was like oh I don't need that there's no reason for that like I have two hands and they work just fine but you know what 
We make a lot of burgers with the HelloFresh meals. Uh, we do buy HelloFresh. This is not sponsored. I love HelloFresh. I wish they would sponsor me, please sponsor me HelloFresh. But we make a lot of burgers with our meals from that. And you know, forming it by your hand is fine, but sometimes they shrink up a lot. And then they're just like these really thick, small patties. And I don't like that. I prefer a thinner uh, hamburger. So I was like, you know what? Let's try it and let's just see how it goes. Let's just see how it goes. So it's got like, let me take this out so I can show you. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's nothing new, but here's what it looks like and you put the meat in there and you press it down and you can make a thinner, bigger, more round patty because you know once you cook it in the pan, it is going to shrink or if you wanna put it on the grill or whatever, but not this on the grill, the burger. But yeah, you just put the patty meat in there and squish it down and make you a little patty and they can all be uniform. Another thing for kitchen stuff, this is new, I believe. I've never seen this before in Dollar Tree and I hadn't seen anybody haul it until last night after the fact that I bought it. This is a four pack ice mold. I think they had a different version of this. I think they had a circle ice mold and it was a four pack, but I think it was like a silicone type thing, if I'm not mistaken, or it was plastic. It was all connected. Uh, let me know if you've seen that. I'm pretty sure I've seen it in the Dollar Tree. These are completely different. These are individual little ice molds. So I'm gonna open this and show you. My husband likes to enjoy a glass of whiskey every now and again. So he does use the sphere ice molds and he has actually really nice ones, but he only has three of them. So sometimes when we have company over who's, you know, his friend is enjoying a glass of whiskey with him and they wanna have a second glass, they don't have a fourth ice cube. So I figured I would just get another pack and we can just try them out and see how well they work but they have these little feet at the bottom so they could sit flat on you know in the freezer which I thought was cool and you fill it up well actually hold on yeah you fill it up here there's a little hole here you fill it all the way up and then you press that close and then when you want to take it out somehow you open this like a little easter egg so yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes as well. But I thought it was really nice and easy because the other ice molds he has, while they're great, sometimes they spill. And I thought this was really cool that you fill it this way and there's like no way to spill. You just fill it all the way up to the top and then you close it. Ooh, y'all, let me show you. I found them. I literally went there looking for that four hook thingy for the closet and this, and I was so excited to find them. But these are the Golly Nutrition Super Greens Gummies. I had two of them last night and I had two of them this morning. It says to take two gummies twice daily and chew thoroughly. So essentially these just have tons of vitamins, just good vitamins for you guys. These expire in June. So I assume that is why they are at Dollar Tree, but we've got plenty of months until June gets here. This is a 60 gummy supply. So if you're taking them twice a day, that's like a two week supply right there for a dollar 25. I think it's really amazing. Uh, the gummies are vegan. Always this brand has vegan gummies, non-GMO, gelatin free and gluten free. There's also probiotics in here. And I don't know if I've mentioned to you guys, but I'm trying to work on my gut health because your gut health affects everything else. These are super greens and a, pro a probiotics blend. And probiotics can definitely be expensive. I actually just bought some for me and my husband because we are working on our gut health. And so to find these for $1.25 is amazing. I got some more fridge organization stuff. I'm so excited that I found these, you guys. I had been looking for this in my local Dollar Tree and they hadn't had it. I even asked the lady, I was like, have you seen and have you had any of the fridge organization stuff yet? And she's like, no, we haven't gotten any. I was like, ah. So I found it when I was out. I didn't find the clear little basket, which I really want as well, but I did find the large egg holder shelf is what it's called. So here's the picture of how it's going to look in the fridge. And I'm really excited to use this. Probably right after filming this video, I'm gonna go organize my fridge. It holds 12 large eggs, which is perfect for your dozen. You just bring it home and then put it in this guy. And it kind of like takes away, you know, using your vertical space here so you can utilize your shelf in a different way. And I just think it's really cute. It's kind of like an off-white type of color. Um, I wish it was clear because sometimes when I can't see through things, I forget I have them. 
because ADHD, but I wish it was clear, but it's not, it's totally fine. I also got this fridge storage bin, which I thought I had one of these once upon a time and I don't know where it went. So this is a nice little clear organizer. I love when they're clear so I can see what it is. This would be great for like juice boxes for your kids or you could put some protein drinks for yourself here. Apple sauces, yogurts, like just so good to easily organize your stuff. This is good for the stuff that you have multiples in in your fridge because like if you're like me, everything is out of sight, out of mind. So I need everything up front so that I know that it's in there. I'm realistically not going to go in my fridge every day, you know, moving things around. So I like to face everything towards me so I know I have it. But like for my kids, for example, I usually have like 10 applesauces in there at one time. And you can see the one applesauce here and you know that the whole row is just applesauce or like pudding or yogurt or a juice box or whatever. Oh my goodness. I, you guys can't even understand how excited I am that I came across these. I've seen so many Dollar Tree videos, organization videos. That's where I get inspirations from other lovely YouTubers here. Um, and they use these for so many different things. I have seen them use this to organize jeans. I've seen them to organize plates like it has right here on the picture. This is apparently a dish rack. I don't see it as a dish rack because they actually have dish racks in Dollar Tree that are much nicer. Um, but these are like wire, coated wire. And you can put your plates on this. If you have like a china cabinet and you want them displayed, you can do that. Or, or a dish rack, like it says. But there's so many things, so many DIYs, so many ways you can use these. I picked up three of them. I almost feel like I should have got more because I genuinely have never seen them in Dollar Tree ever. When I was living in Texas, the ones I've gone to here, I never see them. And I was so happy to find them because I always look for them and I never find them. Um, but what I want to do with this is I want to organize my pots and my pans in my cabinets in the kitchen because it's a mess. Every time I do the dishes and I put dishes away, I kind of just throw everything out in there wherever it fits and try to like hurry up and close the door before it falls out. So I want to organize the you know, pan and pot lids here. And then I want to take another one and I want to organize my frying pans and so on and so forth. You can organize your cutting boards. You can organize your Tupperware. There's just so much you can do with these. So of course I got three of them. I actually found this at the checkout line and I wanted to grab this for my car. So this is an antibacterial hand wipe pack and it was, um, there's 50 in there, 50 wipes. Kills 99% of germs, no parabens, no sulfates, no phylates, and it has aloe and vitamin E, contains plant-based um, fiber. Sorry, I forgot what that said. Plant-based fiber. So these are like, you know, slightly healthier hand wipes. Had seen these in my local Dollar Tree, but I didn't grab for it. And then I saw somebody um showing that you could use this for so many different things to just deodorize so you don't have to just put this in your car if you don't want to you can throw this in a gym bag that gets stinky you can stick this in your husband's boots if they get stinky uh you can just hang it up in the shoe closet i know my shoe closet gets to you know, gets a little stinky because everybody's shoes are in there. Um, so you can just literally hang this right up in the shoe closet. But it is an activated charcoal pouch and it eliminates odors. So you get one of these big pouches and I figured I would give it a try. How cute is this? I haven't seen anybody talk about this on YouTube or TikTok yet, but this is just, you know, a big glass jar. It's actually really big for $1.25 and they have different letters on them. So obviously I got K for King, not for Chris, but for King, because <laughs> that's our family last name. And it has a matte black lid and we are doing matte black like hardware accents in our house for when we're redecorating. So I just thought this would be a cute little accent piece. I don't really know what I'm gonna put in it, but I wanna have it on the counter somewhere because I think it will just go with the decor and it's very like clean and plain looking. Maybe I'll just put little candies in there. I'm not really sure. I saw some new magnets and I had to get it because again, it kind of went with my decor theme. And this is Kitchen Convergent Conversions and it's a ceramic little magnet. I just thought it was so cute, the little mason jar. I love the gray and the white and the black because I am gonna have 
a bunch of gray, white, and black. That's like my basis. And then I bring in some blues for pop of color. Um, but we can always use more magnets on the fridge. Like absolutely. <laughs> my kids drawings on there. I got bills on there. Like there's so many things on my fridge so we can always use more. And there's always a time I'm baking or cooking and we like having to Google the conversions for things. So I just thought that was cool to have on your fridge and it's like a pretty decent size. Also found the marble card holder. This is for when I have my own business cards, when I'm a real estate agent. Still waiting to take my exam, by the way, you guys, if you were wondering about an update. I know I haven't vlogged in a while. Uh, I've been super busy with the renovating of the house. Um, I know that they had all of this office stuff in the marble print and I really like the marble print. And so I got the little business card holder. One of you lovely ladies told me that you could white in your whites with hydrogen peroxide. And I never knew that. So I am going to go ahead and try that. I got this big bottle of peroxide and some of my whites are getting a little bit dingy, but I really don't like to use bleach in the house if I don't have to, like I will if I really have to, but I would prefer not to. So she said that you can use this in your washing machine to brighten your whites. So hopefully that works out. Thank you so much for the tip. I love learning new stuff from you guys. I also found some belts. They had a bunch of different belts, but they also had a couple of children's size belts and it says absolutely fresh. I don't know where that is from. This says it's in a size extra large, but it is for um, kids. So it's like a kid's extra large. And it's just a regular black leathery belt with um, silver hardware. I would say, I mean, this could be unisex, honestly. And they also had a brown braided belt. And I also picked up these furniture scratch markers. You get three of them. And it's by the Tool Bench Hardware brand at Dollar Tree. Um, this has mahogany, walnut, and black. You can see the colors at the bottom. I think that's really helpful that they, you know, showed you the colors right at the bottom. So you guys know uh, we've been painting the house and we do have some natural wood beams in the kitchen. So we're leaving the natural wood beams the color that they are but we accidentally got some paint on <laughs> in certain areas and it is natural wood so you, it's just like hard to even get it off because it's not a finished wood it looks like a reclaimed wood like if you scratched it you could definitely get some splinters um so i was like how can we remove this paint without like you know scratching off the wood and like ruining it and getting splinters so i figured i would try these out to see if it would cover it and it's so like far away on the ceiling you wouldn't be able to like tell that it was a marker so and it's very very dark colored i would say it's like the mahogany color which is like the deepest brown so i'm gonna try these on that and see if it works i have to show you i've been looking for this since actually i want to say last spring because i feel like last spring they started coming out with these it, but I think it was a longer one, like a long rectangle one, which I wish I could find that one. But I did find this solo pot, like this one little pot here. And you can put this on your little um, railing by your front door or your side door. I have a railing by my side door. And so this fits perfectly on it. And you can put a little flower. And I just thought it was so cute. I saw this gray color and they also had a light blue color. I just went with a gray because it just matches everything. But I was so excited to find this. I love having flowers around. And I like the idea of being able to put it right on the railing. All right, y'all, that is it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. It really helps my channel, really helps me get out there and find new people to show them the products that I found at Dollar Tree. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item today was. Because me personally, before I go shopping at Dollar Tree, I will watch like tons of YouTube videos, tons of TikToks, kind of like seeing what's around so I can keep my eye out for stuff, you know? Because sometimes you might miss it if you didn't realize they had it. There's so many things at Dollar Tree, it's very easy to get overwhelmed. So write yourself a little list or watch some videos, take some mental photos. I hope you guys find everything you want to find in Dollar Tree so you can get a good deal and save some money because we love saving money. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.